And now remembering Queen Elizabeth II, a full week of service, prayer and reflection began today as the United Kingdom says goodbye to its longest serving monarch. A somber moment as the Queen's children stood by silently holding vigil by their mother's side as she lies in rest. And here is a live look right now inside St. Giles Cathedral. CBS News' Christine Johnson is live at Windsor Castle with more on today's events. Christine. Marisa and Mary, of course, Windsor Castle will be her final resting place. But in Scotland today, the Queen's body will lie in rest for the next 24 hours. And as the King mourns there with his family by his side, he is already stepping into his new role. We gather today in remembrance of the remarkable span of the Queen's dedicated service to her nations and peoples. King Charles III addressed the British Parliament before a crowded Westminster Hall for the first time as king, vowing to continue in his mother's footsteps. She set an example of selfless duty, which, with God's help and your counsels, I am resolved faithfully to follow. The king and queen consort then flew to Edinburgh. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth's coffin was carried from the palace of Holyrood House and placed in a hearse. The Queen's children followed behind in a solemn procession to St. Giles Cathedral. Thousands of people lined up in Edinburgh to say goodbye to their Queen, many of them wiping away tears. The Queen's Scottish roots run deep on her mother's side. This final journey down the Royal Mile, special and significant to those who call Scotland home. I'm very happy to have been here, and I'm happy for her that she died in Scotland, where she loved. It was a very somber and very poignant occasion. I thought it was an excellent ceremonial, but it was very, very sad. The Queen's flag-draped coffin arrived at St. Giles Cathedral for a service of thanksgiving. The 500-year-old crown of Scotland placed on top of the coffin as the Queen's children looked on. The Queen honored for her historic 70-year reign as Britain's longest-serving monarch. She was determined to see her work as a form of service to others. And she maintained that steady course until the end of her life.